Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to insert your Roblox character into Roblox Studio like this. So let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the toolbox. So you can either do that by going to the home tab and clicking toolbox or you can go over to the view tab and press toolbox. And then you're going to go over here where it says models and you're going to go down to plugins. And this load character, that's the one you're going to want to get. I already have installed but for me it's the first one. It's going to be up at the top because it's very popular, but if it's not, you can go to load character. You can search it and just get the free one right here by already pro. Okay, then you're going to click on it and you're going to install it. After you installed it, you're going to want to go into the plugins tab, find the load character, press it and it should open up a thing like this. Then you're going to want to search in here your username. Okay, and then you can spawn R15 or R6. And I will tell you the difference of these really quick. So what R15 and R6 means is how many body parts the character has. So if I go into the R6 right here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So he has six body parts, and if I go into the R15, he has 15 body parts. So that's the difference between them. R15, you can do a lot more customization with animations, and R6 is just default and it's easier to work with, but not as efficient. Anyways guys, that's how you do that. If you did like this video and it helped you, don't forget to give it a like, and we'll see you next time.